In this video, we are going to discuss about instance based learning versus model based learning. Now, guys, whenever we solve any specific use case, right, and let's say that for this particular use case, I really want to create a model and uh, this specific model will be, let's say I'm, I'm creating a machine learning model and this machine learning model will actually help us to solve some problems, you know, let's say a regression or classification problem. Right. Let's say I am trying to solve a regression or classification problem. Right. Now in this, if I really want to find out what is the exact differences between instance based and model based learning, usually this machine learning model learns about the data in various ways. Right. The first way is basically through that in instance based techniques. And the second way is basically through the model based techniques. Right now, when I am actually dividing this two, I would also like to probably, you know, and this this entire differences is based on the learning patterns of the model. Learning patterns of the model that basically is how the model are able to understand the data. If my model is completely dependent on my training data, let's say if it is completely dependent on my data. And for doing every prediction, you know, for doing every prediction, it will be dependent on this specific data. So based how the data actually exists over here, based on that, we will be getting some specific output. But in the case of model based technique, whatever data we use over here, you know, whatever data we use over here, what this model based technique does is that it tries to understand the pattern within the specific data. Okay pattern within the specific data and once it understands the pattern with respect to the specific data it creates a generalization method to make the prediction for new data right and this generalization method is far more better when compared to this instance based techniques because in instance based technique the model is just dependent on the data that it has currently and whenever a new data basically comes based on this particular data only that it tries to predict the output. It's just like a domain expert kind of thing. Let me give you an example. Okay. So that it will help you to understand. Now, let's say that you have features and uh, this specific features are like number of play hours. Okay. Let's say I have, I'm using this features, number of play hours, number of study hours, number of study hours. And uh, the last column is there, whether the person is going to pass or not, okay, or pass or fail. Now, let's say that if I have this three specific features, okay, and uh, this, these are the features with respect to whether uh, for a student, right, how many number of hours he's playing, he or she is playing, how many number of hours he or she is studying, right, and then we need to predict whether the person is going to pass or not. Now, if I probably take this particular data points, right. And uh, if I just try to plot this particular data points over here, okay. So let's say this is uh, play hours. This is study hours, okay. And you know that uh, this will be inversely proportional, right? If a person is playing more, right? And if he's studying or if a person is studying, if, if the person is playing more and he's studying less, then I can suggest that he may probably not pass, right? So I may have different, different data points over here. Let's say these are some of the data points. Okay. Let's say these are some of the data points. Right. And let's say there are other data points where the person is studying more. And based on that, uh, this red mark that you will be seeing, it is basically saying pass. And this yellow mark is basically saying fail, right? Now, in this particular scenario, obviously, there will be some kind of outliers also, okay? Like, even though the person is playing more, he may, uh, his study hours may also be more. And because of that, he may pass, right? So, there may be obviously some data points from this particular data points. Even though he's studying less, he's able to pass that specific exam, right? Now, in this particular use case, what happens is that in the case of instance based learning, instance based learning, okay, 
this will be just like a domain expert just imagine this okay this will just be like a domain expert like how this specific model works now in this just imagine that suppose a new query point comes let's say the new query point is somewhere here right it's somewhere here now what happens in instance based learning the model knows the training data what it is going to do it is not going to understand the pattern within this data it is just going to see the surrounding data around it let's say if this particular data point is coming it will see that how its surrounding is basically behaving if the surrounding is behaving in a way that most of the points are pass at that point of time this will actually become pass otherwise if most of the data points are fail then this will probably be fail now here you can see within this circle most of the data points are fail so this will actually behave in that specific way and this will the new test data will actually show it as fail as an output right so here specifically it is focusing more on the training data or you can just say that it is learning religiously from this particular training data okay religiously right now this is what basically happens in instance based learning right here you will not be getting any patterns right the model will not learn based on some specific patterns here you just have a training data and based on this particular train data you will try to learn it and you will try to find out uh, the different kind of outputs now this instance based learning there are a lot of there are a lot of different different techniques right one of the techniques that i would definitely like to talk about is knn right k nearest neighbor is one of the algorithm which uses this instance based learning right and we will discuss about this okay and there are some kernels also which we are going to discuss about instance based learning but if i probably consider the same problem statement with respect to model based learning now let's say if if i had a specific model based learning okay and if i probably if my machine learning mo model learns based on this model based learning and let's say if i have some other data points over here here what will happen is that my model will understand the pattern in this data right so it it's basically understands the math intuition behind this so it it is able to create a generalized model now generalized model basically means that it will be able to perform well uh, even for any kind of data it may probably come in the future so generalized model basically means it is trying to understand the pattern uh, what pattern is basically used in this and how it is basically behaving let's say these are all my data points now in this particular case what will happen is that my machine learning model will probably try to you know create this kind of line let's say it will try to create this curve let's say this curve is basically called as decision function or decision boundary right that basically means anything that comes below this particular decision boundary we are going to consider it as fail fail and anything that comes above this decision boundary we are basically going to consider it as pass right so this is the basic difference between instance based and model based learning here you create a generalized format to learn the data generalized format to learn the data right to learn the data that basically is this model is going to behave based on this decision boundary because it has understood the pattern okay and this pattern it is going to basically be used for any future new data to predict whether the person is passing or failing right but here it is completely dependent on the current data that it has you know based on this data let's say if you probably get another point another new query point again it will try to see the surroundings and based on that it will try to take a decision whether it should be pass or fail so this is what is instance based learning is and generalized based model in terms of a student just imagine this is more like by hearting the data right by hearting the data that basically means memorizing the data okay memorizing the data okay by heart basically means uh, we usually say right again i should not use this word but here focus that the 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 model is trying to memorize the data here the model is trying to learn the data okay here learn the data the model is trying to learn the data so that from this learning it is being able to create a decision boundary or i can also say learn the pattern of the data okay just not learn otherwise it will be a, a wrong word to basically use so here i can definitely say learn pattern of the data learn pattern of the data so this is the basic differences between instance based learning and model based learning and i hope uh, you have got an idea about it now let's go ahead and understand some of the differences here are some of the differences so usual convention machine learning model basically means this is a model based learning right 
This is model based. This is instance based. Okay. So first of all, prepare the data for model training. Obviously, you'll require the data over here also. Here also you'll be requiring no difference over here. And then the second point is train the model from training data to estimate the model parameters like discover patterns. So here, as I said, this here you are trying to do the generalization. Here you are trying to learn the decision boundaries, right? And this is only possible when you will be learning the parameters. Uh, or when you'll be learning the model parameters within that and from that training data it is being able to identify that this is a super important one which is basically discover patterns okay here do not train the model pattern discovery postponed until squaring query received so that basically means whenever you get a new data point then only we will try to square this right here no pattern recognition is there in the instance based learning right Whenever new data comes, then only we'll be able to identify based on the surrounding data, whether it is yes or no, or whether the person is going to pass or fail. Okay. Store the model in suitable format. So in most of the mod models that we'll be using, you know, we will be able to save them in some pickle format file. So this will be able to st store it in the hard drive or will be able to store it in any folder location or any cloud location. There are different types of file format like pickle, HDF5, H5 format, and many other formats. Okay. We also say it as H5 format, right? So uh, definitely we store the model in some suitable format. And whenever we store this particular model in this format, it is basically stored it in a serialized format. Serialized format. That basically means, see, internally some maths equation is there within this particular model. So whenever any data comes to this model, right? So let's say if this is my model, which is in the pickle format or serialized format, whenever we give our input over here, we will be getting some kind of output. So internally here, you'll be having a lot of mathematical equations that will be serialized in the serialized format. Okay. So there is no model to store. Generalize the rules in the form of model even before scoring instance is seen. This is super important because since we have a decision boundaries, it will generalize the entire rule. No generalization before scoring. Obviously, we have seen the difference between them. Predict for unseen scoring instance use models, right? We'll be able to even predict completely new data because since we have created a decision boundary so that it gives us result in a generalized manner both for the training data set or for any new kind of data that we are going to get. Predict for unseen scoring instance using training data directly. Okay. So here you will be able to see here we are specifically only using training data. Okay. To do even the prediction of the new data. Can't throw away any input or training data after model training. So here you can throw the input and the training data even. Okay. Once the model is trained, you can just throw it completely. You don't require it. Why? Because now you have a specific model and this model is in some format. It is in the serialized format and it has all the decision boundaries and pattern recognition within them. So whenever a new data comes, it will just be able to predict the output. But in the case of instance based learning, you always require the input or training data. Okay. So let's say after I get my input data and if I train my model using um, this model based learning and what will happen, I will be able to get my score, the accuracy. Okay, just don't understand, don't worry that what are all these things we will learn as we go ahead, right? Now, after training our model, we can remove this input data because everything is stored inside this, right? The decision boundaries and all. So any prediction that we give with respect to our new data, it will be able to do it. But in the case of instance wins learning, we always require the input or the training data. Okay. Requires a known model form, may not have an explicit model form. This is the basic difference. Storing model generally requires less storage because this model pickle file that it is created, it will either be created in KBs or MBs, right? Since we even don't store any training data, so we just create the serialized format of this pickle file. And inside this, you know that. It is being able to recognize patterns and decision boundaries it is able to create, right? So these are usually stored in KBs or MBs. Whereas in the case of storing training data generally requires more storage. Obviously in instance based learning, just imagine in your training data, you have 10,000, 1 million records. So it is obviously going to take more storage place. And scoring for a new instance is generally faster. Scoring for new instance may be slow. The reason I, I tell you uh, the reason this particular point is mentioned that scoring for a new instance is generally fast because our model is in a serialized format. So whenever we get any kind of input internally, all the mathematical equations will quickly get triggered and automatically we'll be able to get the output. 
But in the case of instance based learning, it will go and first of all see the surrounding data points and then it will use some parameters like Euclid and distance, some distance parameters and then it will be able to finally tell you the output. So obviously the model based learning is faster than the instance based learning. That is what is the outcome that you can actually get from here. So I hope uh, you have understood this, the basic differences between instance based learning and model based learning. And the main thing is that from the instance based learning, you are just learning from the data. You are just memorizing the data. So here I want to make one point that the learning of the model usually happens by two way. One is memorizing, one is generalizing, right? And generalizing is a better way when compared to memorizing. But yes, for some of the use cases, you can use memorizing techniques. So memorizing technique is basically my instance based learning. Instance based learning. And generalizing is basically a technique with respect to model based learning. Okay. So this is our, the basic differences between memorizing and generalizing. So yes, uh, this was it for this particular video. I hope you are able to understand what is the basic difference between instance-based and model-based learning. Thank you.